Every single year at CES, LG has the coolest exhibit, and this year, 2024, is no different. If there's one booth to see, it's LG. Right as I walk through the front door, there's a wall of kinetically dancing wireless 77-inch LG Signature transparent OLED TVs. A world first. LG is calling this the OLED T. Each pixel of the OLED T TV is self-lit, meaning when the color black is displayed, the microscopic dot of a pixel is just empty, allowing us to see through it into whatever aesthetic background is behind the TV, into another room, or through a window to the outside world making the TV more of an art piece than a theater. So cool. But as soon as we want to bring back the perfect blacks that LG has been giving us for the past 10 years, we can raise a curtain behind the pixels, which rolls up an opaque black sheet, turning the art piece back into a theater. Thumbs up for that. It is so crazy seeing it in real life. And as long as this black Zero Connect box is within 30 feet of a TV, it can wirelessly stream 4K without any wires, making aesthetic installations far more easy. It displays information in a more natural way without dominating the room like a normal TV would. LG is super good at OLED, which brings us to this. If LG were to make a vehicle, it would be this, the LG Alphable. Alphable is a compound word of the symbol alpha and the word able, meaning everything possible in a vehicle. It's a future mobility concept from LG Electronics. The future has to start somewhere. Basically, LG wants to flex their display and home appliance abilities in the automotive space by packing everything they're good at into a futuristic car body with four wheels. And it passes the vibe check. Getting into the Alphable, you'll notice that there is no steering wheel. I can start the navigation, throw it up on the front OLED, and with the hand gesture, that single OLED opens up into a dual screen real-time display of the outside, eliminating the two A pillars that normally obstruct a driver's view. There is a forward accessible fridge under the hood, meaning that the car can go pick up food or groceries and keep them cold during the drive, easily reachable by the driver and passenger if they get hungry. The Alphable is autonomous, meaning I don't have to drive if I don't want to, but since driving is a fun experience, the steering wheel can motorize out of the center hub, allowing me to take over. And saving the best for last, the Alphable seats rotate around, turning the cab into a lounge. With four LG gaming screens coming down from the roof, and a whole trunk full of concierge appliance modules that can supply us with gaming controllers, sparkling cider, or instant coffee depending on our mood just like a built-in butler. The front headlights have built-in projectors, so anytime it parks somewhere, it can turn a wall into a portable movie theater. And anytime the occupants leave the inside of the vehicle, UV lights sterilize the interior. Pretty awesome vehicle, and I hope to see it on the road someday. The cutest thing that LG has made, though, so far is the LG Q9. LG has redefined artificial intelligence as affectionate intelligence for AI that empathizes and communicates with us better than, you know, artificial. Like TVs that can recognize specific voices or little balancing smart home agents with autonomous driving technology that can patrol homes or keep an eye on elderly parents. The Q9 will be able to make emergency phone calls if it sees a fall or something going on. So the Q9 also has built-in speakers so it can read audiobooks to you as it follows you around the house, which is something that canines cannot do. Checkmate dogs. And while the next equipment might not be the most visually entertaining, from a hardware perspective, it's fascinating. LG has a whole home energy platform for energy optimization. Like LG's hydronic heating system with air to water heat pumps that provide heating and cooling and hot water for energy efficient homes. Also a knockably transparent oven for some reason, but I'm here for it. We also have the LG Smart Wash Combo, which both cleans and dries your clothes in the same load. I'm not sure why no one has thought about this before, and I'm wondering where it has been my entire life. The LG Smart Wash Combo has a built-in scale that can automatically detect how many clothes are in there, what type of fabric they have, and their soil level to accurately dispense the amount of detergent that's needed for every single load. All while using up to 60% less energy with every load, since we're using inverter heat pump technology. 
With the craze of everyone having refillable Stanleys or stainless steel water bottles, LG has made the LG My Cup, which can efficiently use high temperature steam to wash and sterilize tumblers in just 30 seconds. It can also dry them, definitely designed more for businesses or schools, cafeterias, but it makes using a reusable water bottle much easier. If I had to pick one thing that LG was doing that was my favorite, it wouldn't necessarily be the reusing recycled materials in their products to lower carbon footprints. It's actually the universal up kit, accessories that LG has designed to help any customer, regardless of age or ability, to use their products. Everyone experiences disability at some point, it's just a fact of life. My wife uses a wheelchair and I build wheelchairs and I have a lot of friends who use wheelchairs. So when I see LG making their appliances more accessible with dials and opening arms and even having their TVs work with cochlear implants, along with accessible remote controls, it just makes me want to support them as a brand even more, a good company with awesome products doing good things. There's so much to see here at the LG booth, I'm not able to cover everything, but my friend Junder here has covered the LG Bon Voyage. This on thing's sick. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'll leave a link for his video over here. Go check out the rest of it. And thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.